Hi, Dave Chester from Formosa Fitness. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about why machine training can play a role in functional fitness training. So functional fitness training is using squat, lunge, deadlift, push, pull, jump, twist, these kind of motions to build your fitness routine. Now, they burn lots of calories and they're really good. This is what we tend to recommend for the majority of people who are starting out in exercise because we teach you movements and we get you moving and it's move, moving that we don't do enough of every day. So it's going to burn crazy calories, it's really good for you. Okay, but machines can't actually play a role in that. Okay, why? Well, I changed my thinking about machines uh, when I was doing lots of squatting and, and heavy deadlifting and stuff. Uh, what I found was I was doing certain movements over and over and over again and I was weighting those movements. I had a barbell on my back and things like this. So I was wanting to progress in those movements and that's pretty much all I did. But what I found was uh, I hurt my piriformis, it's a small muscle in, in, in your pelvis, because I wasn't doing enough variety. I found I actually needed a little bit more variety in the small list of movements that I was doing and I found that machines can actually help break up that training by introducing you to some new angles and things like that. So in that way, machines actually can help. Uh, another thing, though, is that a lot of us, when we're doing compound motions, and functional fitness training is made up of compound whole body movements, um, there's always a kinetic chain. Your body is one long kinetic chain. Well, the problem is if I'm doing, like, let's say, squatting, and I'm using like maybe a powerlifting style, I tend to not use the quads that much. And what we found over time was that people really weren't using their quads very much at all, and the quads were perhaps getting underpowered. To the extent that maybe people were forgetting how to actually squeeze and turn on their quads. But what I found was that by having people do leg extension, which isolates the quads, we could then rehab that muscle, we could make it strong again, so then when we stuck it back into the squat, we got a much better result. We found that people could actually bring up those body parts that were lagging behind because in a, in a chain your weakest link is obviously your weakness. So we want to bring up that one link and then the whole chain is stronger. Another thing that I found was some of the functional fitness exercises that we like to use overuse the back quite a bit. If you look at functional fitness, if I'm going to use the whole body, the link between the lower body and the upper body is the core and in this case specifically the lower back. Um, and if you look at these kind of exercises, we tend to use the lower back a lot. So for example, one day I did burpees uh, on day one. And normally burpees don't work my legs too much. So I did a bunch of burpees and I was feeling good. And then the next day I wanted to go do a leg workout while my legs were ready to go. I could have done squat, deadlift, no problem. However, my lower back was shot from doing the burpees. Um, and so, but to me at that time, Leg training meant squat, deadlift, and heavy kettlebell swing. Well, my back was fried. I couldn't squat, I couldn't deadlift, and I couldn't do heavy kettlebell swing. So without the ability to isolate the muscles, I couldn't work the leg muscles that day. I had to wait until my lower back had cleared up. If I had machines available, then what I could have done was I could have isolated the legs, and I still could have gotten in a leg workout that day, even though my lower back was, was sore, because the machines isolate the muscles, and because they isolate the muscles, they don't use the lower back really all that much. So, there are uh, ways to use machines in the functional fitness uh, protocol that make sense and they have a place. So, if you're doing functional fitness training, you know, use machines smartly, do what, use the machine for what it does, and then you can go back to your functional fitness training. Okay? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. Thank you.